Here we are in unit two of teaching the Bible. And this unit, we are going to focus on uh, biblical models of instruction and teaching in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. And so in the Old Testament, we're gonna take a really hard look at how the Hebrew people educated their children and not just their children, but their families. How did they learn uh, about the things of God and what kinds of uh, things can we learn from looking and studying what the Hebrews did in their uh, religious education. Then we're gonna move into the New Testament and we're going to look at the models that happened in the New Testament. You know, after the Jews had been taken into, the Israelites were taken into captivity, and then once they were released from Babylon, then they were called the Jewish people. And so we want to look at how the Jews also uh, managed their educational process. What kind of educational process did Jesus have even? Then we're also going to take a look at Jesus, the master teacher, uh, because he, of course, was the greatest teacher of all and is the greatest teacher of all. And we're going to look at the different methodologies and different ways that Jesus taught and the lessons that we can learn from Jesus. We're also going to look at the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's role in the educational process. All of these things provide us with a very strong biblical foundation for our teaching. So uh, we are also going to, um, in this um, unit going to take a really good look at the Shema, which is the biblical passage that we find in Deuteronomy upon which the entire Hebrew system of education was based. And we're going to really take that apart almost verse by verse and, and look at that as well. So um, I hope you enjoy this unit. Um, it is the foundation upon which the rest of the whole semester is really going to be based. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.